effective infection prevention and control, measures are necessary to control the spread of infections like COVID-19, as well as minimize everyday healthcare associated infections. Fewer infections in hospitals result in lower consumption of antibiotics, thereby reducing antibiotic resistance. EU JAMRAI has worked on piloting the implementation of guidelines and frameworks to make infection prevention and control more effective, following two approaches, top-down and bottom-up. The first step was to identify gaps on European infection prevention and control programmes, conducting two surveys with different objectives. The first survey aimed at identifying the gaps between policy and infection control and practice, while the second one pursued identifying the gaps between organisational culture and patient safety. The results of the surveys depict not only the necessary institutional structures and resources needed for an effective infection prevention control implementation, but also the barriers to overcome and the behavioural changes needed. Some of the gaps are lack of active involvement of hospital administrators and clinical department heads, insufficient cooperation between hospital administrators, IPC teams and public health authorities and lack of human and budgetary resources. To fill in these gaps, EU JAMRAI has piloted the implementation of the Universal Infection Control Framework in 22 healthcare settings from five countries. The objectives of the Universal Infection Control Framework are firstly to raise awareness on antimicrobial resistance and healthcare associated infections and the consequences of these public health threats on patient safety. Secondly, to make infection prevention and control implementation more effective by strengthening and improving the already IPC implemented activities, clarifying roles in implementing activities without additional cost or resource. And finally, to train on basic infection control principles and on the use of tools to promote behavioural change such as audits, infection control gap assessments, the cost effectiveness of IPC and other communication and collaboration activities. Universal Infection Control Framework and its training tools are addressed to all infection control hierarchy. Hospital administrators, healthcare workers and infection control communities. Even though the personnel have to manage the pandemic of COVID, they reported that this crisis was as an opportunity to implement some of the essential activities. A tool like this can have an impact in changing the behavioural culture of the healthcare settings regarding the prevention and control of healthcare associated infections. Even though the implementation of the framework was challenged by the COVID-19 crisis, the review of the 22 healthcare settings depicts how effective these activities could be. After evaluating its implementation in these 22 healthcare settings, the Universal Infection Control Framework was updated and published and will be shared with all EU member states. The feedback by the participants showed that the Universal Infection Control Framework could have an impact in changing the behavioural culture of the organisation, therefore its promotion to other healthcare settings is of highly importance to have more concrete and measurable results. Moreover, collaborating with scientific organisations and societies at the European level with the purpose of improving the already developed training tools, as well as advocating for their establishment to the healthcare workers' curriculum, will result in the sustainability of the actions. Using an evidence-based implementation model called the Breakthrough Series Model for Improvement, EU JAMRAI implemented guidelines for prevention of catheter-associated urinary tract infections in 30 pilot wards of eight EU member states and three non-EU countries in Europe. The Breakthrough Series model for improvement promotes collaboration between different levels and provides a structure that includes key elements for a successful implementation process. The model is following a bottom-up approach involving the ward staff in the process in deciding and prioritizing changes. 
The model is designed to bring knowledge into practice and improve quality. Before starting the implementation, the hospital wards answered a survey to identify the areas that needed improvement during county prevention. The experiences of using the implementation model were positive. Among the facilitating factors were management support and motivated staff with an active role in decision making and prioritising changes. Some of the barriers reported were cultural aspects and lack of resources. In terms of results, some examples that wards are reporting are decreased use of urinary catheters, increased compliance to standard precautions, procurement of closed collection systems and development of national guidelines on county prevention. We're glad to see that the results have gone beyond our objectives. Prevention of healthcare associated infection is a cornerstone in controlling AMR and participating countries have reported achievements such as the development of a national plan to reduce healthcare associated infections implementation of guidelines for county prevention in more hospitals and continued use of the model in other hospitals for structured quality improvement work. EU Tramrai conducted a survey addressed to member states and stakeholders that showed that healthcare associated infections are a priority at all levels of the health system. Effective inf infection prevention and control measures go well beyond hand washing they involve also many actors and need a coordinated approach to ensure that no EU country is left behind. As COVID-19 has demonstrated to the world, the only step that can be taken to control the spread of a novel virus with pandemic potential are effective infection prevention and control measures. This crisis has also shown that we need a common framework that's why UJAMRI urges Member States and the European Commission to develop core elements on infection prevention and control.